everybody. It's Andre from the Eaglesoft Field Guide. Just wanted to come to you with a quick, really quick uh, video on how to do a custom draw type for a fixed uh, lingual bar. Now, everybody always asks about this, and there's always been a how to do this in the Eaglesoft Field Guide. It's been buried uh, for years and years because so many people have uh, posted other things. But I wanted to bring this one up to the top, make a video of it, um, just so you have a how-to on how to do it really quickly. So to do any custom draw type, you have to be in the clinical screen. From the clinical screen, we're going to add it from this screen. So uh, my, my system's a little slow today, but what we're gonna do is we're from the clinical screen, we're gonna add a custom draw type. We're gonna connect it to a condition and then I'll show you also how I uh, how I would typically set it up is connected to a uh, actual service that, that would go in the system. So under list, I go to draw types and ignore the fact that I've got a million draw types in here. I'm gonna do a new draw type and I'm gonna call this, I always leave my custom word in there and I'm just gonna call this a bar, all right? And it's gonna be attached to a tooth and it's gonna be attached to all teeth. Now. Just, uh, I'm gonna use the same drawing for all teeth. This is gonna change, but just so you can see how this is done, I'm gonna clear this out because I wanna start from scratch. And I'm gonna save this, close it. I'm gonna go back into here and open it back up. Now, the, the, the brush that I'm gonna be using is the square, and I want the brush size to be as small as possible. Now, this is gonna sound a little confusing, but I wanna start with a drawing for all teeth, and then I'm gonna go back and edit it for individual teeth. Now, the way I do that is I'm gonna draw a line about right here, and I hope that you guys can, you know, you'll just eyeball it and figure out what works for you, and I'm gonna make it about like that. I'm gonna go down here to the bottom, about right there, draw across the line, like right there, and there we go. Now I'm gonna save this, close it, edit it again. Now, this is where it gets a little funny because what I want you guys to do is now what we're going to do is we're going to customize it for each tooth. So I'm going to uncheck this use for all teeth and I'm going to clear it because there's no, no bar in one. I'm going to clear this, I'm going to clear this, all right, and clear this one. All right. All right. Now, when I get to five, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my eraser tool, make them as big as possible. All right. And then I'm going to clear the top line because that's where our lingual bar is. And I'm going to stop it midway across the tooth like that. And then go to six and seven, oops, six and get rid of that. Oops. And go to seven and get rid of that. And go to eight and get rid of that. And now we're going to the lowers. All right, there's 25 and I don't need that down the bottom. I'm going to go to 26. Don't need that down the bottom. Go to 27. Now on 27, typically that's where it ends. I want to again cross my line and erase half of it. All right, 28, we don't need. 29, we don't need. 30, we don't need. 31. And I'm going to take them off of all the primaries too. So I just keep going through. Clear it. C is gone. D is gone, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, once we get this done, I'm gonna show you how to connect it to a condition. So now that's all done, we're at T. We've got that custom draw type called bar, there it is. Now we're gonna to go to list and we're gonna to go to conditions and we're gonna give a new condition. And just for the sake of it, I'm gonna put it at the top of this, so I'll put a period in front of it bar and then you can see my custom draw type is bar there's the one that i just created it's at the top that's why it's showing up there and i'm actually going to say okay to it now let's add it to a patient's chart open up my patient and let's go seven eight nine eight nine ten we'll go to our conditions and there's our condition bar and guess what boom there's a legal bar all right if i want to take it to six, you'll see where those little half lines show up. Whoops, maybe not. I, oh, I think I took it all the way to five. Let's see. Yeah, okay, I took it to five. And I'll do the same thing on the lowers. We took it to 27, uh, 27. condition bar, use it. 
bada bing. So there is your lingual bar. You guys now have it. I'm going to clear this all out and then I'll show you what happens when it, it is attached to a drawing. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, into a service code. And that's typically the way I do it. So let's just do eight and nine. I'm going to go up to my ortho drop down. At the bottom here, you see I have orthodontic retention and that's connected to my lingual bar. Now, I'm going to mark it as an existing lingual bar on eight and nine. And now you can see how when you do a really good custom draw type, that's what I, the way it looks. Do the same thing on the lower from 27 to 22. Go back to my ortho, go to my lingual bar, and let's show that's existing. And bada bing, there it is. So hopefully that, guy, that helps you guys. Uh, that's the quick down and dirty way to do it. Um, yes, you can get a little bit more special, fancy, the way I have it here, but you don't need it. As long as you have something that represents what it is, it works. So as long as you can do it, let me know. Um, if you can't, let me know what's going on. Let me know how I can help you. You know how to get in touch with me through the Facebook group. Um, there's always, you can message me, you can call the office, any way you need to get in touch with me. Let me know and we'll make it work for you. So thanks and uh, we'll see you soon.